I was very much interested in Bengal for one reason. I was studying in Shantari Ketans. So in 1954, when there was the uh, language edit editation in Bangladesh. I was a student in Chantri and we did a lot of work with the other students. I was actually one time uh, the secretary of the uh, Vishwabharati Sammelani, the uh, students' union. And also it all was uh, connected to the All India uh, Student Federation. So we did a lot of work on that. So after returning, uh, I had the impression of uh, what is happening in uh, Bangladesh. With the election, the whole Bangladesh elected Mujibur uh, Rahman's Awami League party. Pakistan denied the legitimate right of Mujibur uh, Rahman to be the Prime Minister of Pakistan. Then, of course, when that was denied, there were people's agitation. And ultimately, Mujibur Rahman was arrested, I think. We organized what they call this, at that time, Ceylon, Ceylon Bangladesh Solidarity Committee. Uh, and we made a, a Buddhist monk, a very radical Buddhist monk, quite well known. He's also died. Uh, Reverend uh, uh, Matar Chandarama. So he was president and myself and my friend uh, Latif, uh, uh, Abu Talif Abdul Latif, myself, we were joint secretaries. And then Mr. Devaraj, uh, uh, treasurer. It's been interesting. We were on all three communities. So Devaraj is a Tamil, I'm a Sinhalese, Latif is a Muslim. So we had all ethnic groups were in, um, uh, what you call, uh, involved in this agitation. So what we did, first, you know, we started uh, giving uh, uh, press interviews. Then we were making publications. And then uh, uh, at that time, there was a professor, a lady, Kumar Jayawardana, uh, in the Kalamu University, who was involved in this worker education program. Uh, she came to me and she said she will join our movement and she will organize a very big meeting of these uh, people for a uh, uh, lecture. And he asked me to give the lecture because knowing the background, I then in the Kalambu New Town Hall, I spoke. The hall was fully packed. Uh, the Indian High Commission people were there. Then what happened? We found that uh, the Pakistani aircrafts are going through uh, Kalambu Airport all they are refueled by them. So we went and we met some ministers and we said we are strongly opposed to this because uh, they are carry carrying military hardware, they are going to bomb these people. And we said, uh, well, the minister in charge is actually a leftist. Uh, his wife was demonstrating with us. His wife him, herself was a, a member of parliament and strong activist. So, Unfortunately, the minister was put into a very embarrassing position. Where he was, uh, he was to take a uh, uh, take uh, take position to stop this. But unfortunately, the prime minister was not for it, because prime minister said that we cannot. Is uh, Pakistan is a suffering state, and we have a good relation with Pakistan, so we don't want to do it anyway. We made this agitation. We carried posters. We made demonstrations, and then at that time there was also Pakistan Film Festival in Colombo in a big, uh, most prestigious uh, a cinema hall called Savoy. So we took this opportunity, we went there and pick a tent oh, every day. Every day a minister comes to uh, reopen this. Because of picketing, people did not want to go inside. Uh, some ministers, uh, when some ministers, of course, were pro Pakistani, they supported it, but majority, then after, they won't have the film festival for two weeks, but after three or four days, they had to close down because uh, uh, there's no people to go, uh, go, go and see it, see? So that's a good achievement that we made. Uh, with the police objected. But uh, uh, the minister's wife, who was a radical uh, MP, he was with us. Uh, police came and told you are stop this because uh, no, see, we are not going to, this is our right and uh, our duty to Bangladesh people, we are not going to stop it. So ultimately it was closed down. So uh, I, we, we held another meeting uh, in a small, in a famous hotel in the center of the city uh, called Nippon Hotel. Uh, we invited all the trade union leaders, uh, prominent trade union leaders. And we spoke to them about this. At that time, we got a friend who was coming from, uh, uh, actually, uh, uh, from London. He was a student, you know, at, uh, originally, uh, uh, he, he went, his uncle was in Pakistan, I think, he's a Muslim. Uh, he married a Sri Lankan girl. They are still in London, we are, they are friends. 
uh, they came and we got them also to speak all this. You see, so it was well published. All the papers carried this uh, papers. Only thing is that uh, our effort uh, to uh, prevent uh, Pakistani aircraft with refueling, we failed despite our efforts. We went to the ministry, we went to all the officers, we also made the agitation, we wrote to the newspapers, we said that this is very wrong and this should be stopped. Uh, that, to that extent, we carried, carried our uh, um, agitation. In addition, one day we got a news through the Indian High Commission that the two Bangladesh people uh, were in the Pakistani ship. The, I don't know from where they were coming. They landed in Kalabu and they wanted to take uh, uh, refuge. And then the, the foreign secretary refused. He put them back to the uh, ship. Then when we got the information, we want to uh, speak to the government. At that time, the Prime Minister was on uh, holiday in uh, the mountain areas, and even the dep Deputy Minister was not there. Then luckily for us, uh, there was an opposition leader, of course, the right wing, but nevertheless, we had some access. Uh, there was a friend of ours called Hamid who, was, who later became the foreign minister. So, uh, we went and told him, uh, there's a problem like this, you have to help us, you see. Then he went to uh, the leader of the opposition. He told, I have information from a very close friend of mine from leftist uh, parties uh, that this thing happened. Then he, he took up the case. He was a very powerful person. He was able to allow these people to stay in Sri Lanka.